Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we have here a brand new tablet from Honor. This is called the Honor Pad 9. Now I'm currently using it on my desk as well for my workflow. So I've got a couple of points that I'll go through. Usually it's my laptop, but today I'm using the Honor Pad 9. All right, so not to be confused with the X9, which is actually the more affordable budget model. The Pad 9 is sort of an upgraded, more features, you know, even stronger kind of device that actually retails for RM1499. And here's what's even better. You know, Honor is actually throwing in the Honor Choice Pencil where you can use to write on your tablet and they're also giving away this free keyboard case. So in today's video, we're going to find out who is this device really for and how does it really work for your workflow as well as your entertainment. Let's begin the video right away. Now first and foremost, I've actually got my Honor Pad 9 set up on the desk like I said. Uh, this is actually the non-5G version. If you need 5G, you can actually put the same in the 5G variant. Do check out the different models just so you are not confused. Anyways, uh, let me just tell you really quick. If you are using your tablet for entertainment, let's begin with the large display. What we have at the front is actually a 120 hz display that's actually very quick, very smooth to refresh. And the display is actually an eye comfort display. So if you're going to be watching a lot of your Netflix, you're not going to get a lot of eye strain, you know, even after watching long hours of movies. Now, I definitely would not recommend you to watch movies for such a long time, but bear in mind, there's a bit of eye comfort in this display. Now, in terms of the resolution, we do have a 2.5K display. So everything that you see on the display is actually quite clear and crisp. If you are, again, going to be watching a lot of like, you know, like Disney Plus or Netflix, YouTube and all that, you're definitely going to enjoy the resolution on the Honor Pad 9. Now, it's not just in terms of your visuals, your audio is also taken care of because this time around, Honor actually fitted in eight speakers into the Honor Pad 9. So I actually did a quick check just to make sure they're all there. And what I noticed here is that if you're holding the tab like this, the speakers are actually on your left, your right, as well as at the bottom. So there's no speakers at the top, but this already gives you that sort of like surround speaker kind of feel. And most other tablets only has like four speakers. So having eight on board really gives you not only just a very high volume, but a more surround kind of feel. Now, one more point that I did put in here on my notes is that the tablet also comes with a large storage of 256 gigabytes. Now, obviously, this is going to be important to you if you are going to be downloading your shows to watch later on. You can also download a lot of songs using your Spotify, which is what I actually do. So when I just carry this with me for my travels, sometimes I have my downloaded shows that I can watch anytime. And I think the large storage is very, very important here. All right, so that's just in terms of the entertainment side of things. Now, let's say you want to use your tablet for a work. Now, this is also actually a pretty good device. So again, what we have at the front here is this fairly large display. I would say fairly large because it works very well when you use that two screens, that dual screen mode. And to activate it, it's actually very simple because Honor has touched up the software quite a fair bit. It works very smoothly now. If you notice that every window or any app that you open, there's a slight bar at the top right in the middle that you can actually just pull down to drag it and instantly, you can actually activate your dual screen mode. Now, it's also super easy to actually make it into a smaller window, which is what I will show you later on. And you can also just shift things around anywhere that you like. You can have that very, very good uh, kind of dual view just so that you can, you know, do two things at one time. It's all about multitasking. All right, so having said that, the entire workflow process is made even smoother once you have this pencil as well as the Bluetooth keyboard. Now, the Bluetooth keyboard is obviously a case where you can pop the tablet in to have it really close to you. But for myself, sometimes I tend to shift the, the display further back a little bit. So I actually did not attach the keyboard to the tablet so I can have my own comfort space, my own comfort distance between the tablet and the keyboard. Now the tactility, the keyboard itself feels great to type on. There's a good amount of nice sound coming off from the keyboard as well. But overall, I think the keys themselves have a good amount of travel and that will give you a very comfortable typing experience. Now what about this little pencil here? What can you actually do with the Honor Choice Pencil? Now, according to Honor, their previous tablet did not come with this stylus, pencil, whatever you want to call it. So this time, they actually throw it in together with the Pad 9. And I noticed a few things here. Now, the first point that I want to mention is that the palm rejection is actually quite good. So if you're going to be doing a lot of sketches, you know, drawings and whatnot, you actually be able to draw it quite naturally because you won't have those, you know, accidental presses by your palm whenever you put your palm on the display. Uh, number two, because I myself do sketch quite a bit, I noticed that the latency is acceptable. I would I wouldn't say that 
that this is the lowest latency in the world but what I can say is that with the responsiveness of the pencil itself definitely you are actually able to come out with a couple of decent sketches. Now the third thing that I want to mention about this pencil is that it's actually really easy to just circle things up whenever you receive documents. So say for example I have this PDF file over here I can just launch it in the tablet itself circle up whatever I want to circle with the pencil very accurately put in a couple of notes and just save it and send it off to someone else. It's just that simple. Alright so having said all that it's worth mentioning that we do have the Honor Docs application already built into the tablet whenever you purchase one and I think this is actually very similar to an office experience and again with the pencil and the keyboard itself it really gives you this kind of like PC level experience. Now last but not least good news if you are an Honor user you actually have that Honor Connect that means that you can connect your device to your tablet. So once you're connected you can actually enjoy transferring files or photos directly between your phone and tablet. You can also copy text such as a very long website URL that you're currently browsing on your phone and paste it directly to see it on a larger screen on the Honor Pad 9. Now what I like is that you can also sync your notes between both devices, share your network and even more with Honor Connect. Alright, so that pretty much sums up my quick take on the Honor Pad 9. Again, for the price of RM1499 with the free pencil and the free Bluetooth smart keyboard case, I think this is actually a pretty sweet deal because you're getting quite a fair bit of performance coming from this tablet, not just in terms of your work, but also in terms of your play. Just in case you want to find out about the full specifications about the tablet, I'll put it down below. Uh, I don't want to go through specs all the time, but yeah, you can check them out in the description box below. Anyways, uh, this tablet is currently on sale. Again, I'll put in the links down below if you want to check that out. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.